Hey guys, it's Tori. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. So in today's um, tutorial, I have a really awesome um, project I'm going to walk you through. I found a really easy, easy way to make a Galantine purse and I want to go ahead and share it with you. So let's get started. So I'm going to walk you through step by step um, how to do um, this purse and this purse is going to be so much easier to do um, than all the other Galantine um, purses but we're going to start out the same so what you would do is you would click in the video my video and then you would click show more and then here is the link for the Galantine before you click on it make sure that your Cricut Design Space app is closed and once it's closed then you would click on this um, link and it takes you directly to the purse that we're going to use select I agree and then click open in app if you already own the app and then it can take I don't know like a minute to open just depending on your internet Okay, so once it pops up, you can either click make it or edit a copy. I'm going to edit it. So click edit. And again, this can take just a little bit to open. That's totally normal. It's a big, um, has a lot of SV, it's a big SVG file. So it should, it should take a little bit. But this is so cool, you guys. I did, um, I did this purse yesterday and unfortunately it didn't tape so I'm retaping but it was so much easier to do so cute I think you're gonna love it so I'm excited okay so it's opening and the first thing that I do once it's completely open is I save it because it's not fun to work on a project and then it crashes so super important to save it first. Let's go ahead and click save. We'll do save as and I'm just going to name this mini Galantine purse. Okay. Now we're going to get started. I'm just going to um, slide this over and I am going to delete um, the cards. Actually there's two cards I'm going to delete. I'm not going to be using these. Delete the dots. Okay, right, now we're going to slide back over here. And I am, you know what, let's slide back this way. I'm going to delete the hearts as well. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is click on select all and I'm going to change the size of the purse I want it to be smaller so I'm just going to click the arrow button and this will change since you hit select all it will change um, everything so it's proportioned to one another so you don't have to worry about it not being proportioned okay so this looks like the perfect size I'm going to do and then what we're next step is going to click on this and I'm going to hit delete. Click on this, delete. And there's a few down here. I'm also going to ungroup the Galantine and delete the Galantine. and click on this white part ungroup it slide that over hit delete and we slide this over ungroup and hit delete <laughs> and we're going to save this and let me just double check and make sure I think that's all the pieces okay go ahead as well I want to make this white and I'm going to change this to gold and this is let's see this and this okay um, okay we need to ungroup this 
and I'm going to change this to gold as well. So I can just click gold and then I can click uh, duplicate three times. So now I have four of those. Okay, and let's see. Okay, very important step is we go back to the top. Okay, here we will go ahead and hit detach. And we're going to remove the score line. And we'll do detach, remove score line. We're going to leave the score line on um, these two, the sides, because that's important. We do have to um, fold that. And then same with the pocket for inside the purse. And we will go ahead and click detach, remove this score line, detach, and remove this score line. And then um, I also want this to be gold. So let's change that to gold. And now I think we're set. And then we're gonna click make it. Okay, so I'm going to use this cardstock. And this is a cardstock with foil. And I'm going to use the heart. So let me grab two sheets of the hearts. But actually, you know what, you guys, this is super cute. So maybe I'm gonna change my mind. And I love these, they have such cute patterns. Let's do these. This is super cute. Okay, so we just need one sheet to get started. Let me just set the other one aside. Okay, so I have my fabric mat out. And you, as you can see, it's not super clean, but it's not so dirty that it doesn't stick, but it just sticks just enough. Um, so I am going to go ahead and um, put the paper on, and then I'm going to use scotch tape to put um, tape in each of the corners. Okay, so we're back in Cricut Design Space, and I'm going to click Continue and then browse all materials. Type in cardstock, enter, and the paper that we will, will be using is the deluxe paper, foiled. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and click on that. Click continue. And then I like to change the pressure to more. And we will be using a single scoring wheel and the fine point blade. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is change the tool to the scoring wheel, which is 01. Make sure that it's in there and tighten it. And then we're gonna hit the Cricut button. Okay, so just finished doing the scoring and Cricut Design Space lets you know that your next step is to load the fine point blade. And then I'm going to continue by hitting the Cricut button. Okay, so just finished cutting. We'll hit the arrow button to go ahead and have the mat unload. And then I have um, the tape in the four corners. So we'll go ahead and take that off. And I like to save this tape and reuse it as much as I can. And um, we'll be using that on the next cardstock. Okay, so now we're gonna take the mat, turn it upside down, and then just slowly um, pick this off. Okay, let's kind of move the mat. And okay, so most of this should just come right off. Let's go ahead and put it in the pile. Um, if it doesn't, you just wiggle it a little bit and it should come off. Okay, there's this one. And grab the mat and we need to do the next card stock. So we're going to apply it to the mat. Grab the tape that we previously used. And just going to hit 
hit the arrow button. Okay, and we need to use the scoring tool again. So we're gonna switch the tools and then hit the cricket button. And the scoring just finished and then again cricket design space lets you know to switch the tool to the fine point blade. Okay, so this just finished. We're gonna take the tape off of the four corners and just set it aside. And then we're gonna take the mat and turn it upside down and then just pull it off. Okay, so now we are on the last cardstock, and I decided what I want to do, we're gonna go ahead and hit cancel, let me just back up, because we have to switch the paper, um, paper type. I am going to take the strap, and I think I'm going to go ahead and print, print and cut, I'm gonna cut um, a gold strap and see if that's something that I want to use towards the end. Let's go ahead and do the next strap. So what all I'm doing is going to where the strap is. I um, click on the three dots and I'm just gonna move the object. So I'm gonna move it over here. Okay, so now, um, and I'm going to use a gold um, poster board. So we hit browse and it is this one right here. And then I'm going to hit done. And then I'm not going to change the pressure because I've done that in the past and I think it ended, I, I don't think it turned out if I remember correctly. Um, and we're also going to use a double scoring wheel, which is number two. So let's go ahead and get that ready. Okay, so this is number two. This is the double scoring wheel that I'm going to use. And first what I'm going to do is take this housing, which this is just my regular scoring, and I'm going to press this button, which releases the bottom tip. I'm gonna set that aside. Then I'm gonna press the button again and put this one on, and then you'll hear it like kinda, um, uh, what's that sound? Um, can, you'll just hear it connect. Okay, so now we're going to take the fine tool out and put this in and then hit the double arrow key. And then I'm gonna hit the cricket. Okay, and now the cricket design space says to put in the fine point and then hit the cricket button. Okay, so this just finished. And it looks like I wasn't paying attention, so some of these got damaged. Okay, so let's uh, pull that aside. This one's still good. We're gonna take the tape off again. And for some reason, this usually happens to me when I use the cardstock, this um, foil, usually two pieces, and it's always these. Um, something happens to them. So, okay, so let's take this off. I just did it that way since it was already loose. Okay, so this one definitely no. Okay, so then let me turn it this way. Okay, so I have um, both of the sides of the purse and I have both of the flaps. And what I'm gonna start with is, make sure that I turn this the right way since this is writing. Okay, so what I'm going to do is start with the flap and get the glue stick. And I'm just going to apply glue to the flap. Okay, and then it's gonna go upside down this side and we just wanna make sure that it's lined up. 
Let me just make sure, yes, that's lined up perfectly. And then just apply some pressure. So this side is done. Now we're going to do the exact same thing to the other side. Go ahead and apply some glue. Okay. This goes upside down. Make sure we line it up. And make sure, yeah, perfect. Okay, now this side is done. Wasn't that easy, you guys? Okay, so now what we need to do is this is the bottom of the purse and I folded it on the score marks. So that's done. We're just gonna set that aside. And this is the pocket. I did the same thing. I just folded it on the score lines. We're gonna set that aside. And then these are the two um, sides of the purse, the other sides. So what we're going to do is remember we did leave the score marks here so we could see. And what we're going to do is apply the popsicle stick and just reinforce that line. Okay, and then we're gonna do the same thing on the sides because remember it makes a Y like an upside down Y okay, so that's done we're going to set it aside and we're going to do the same thing here okay and then the corners And if you don't have a score tool, I'm sure you could just do this just by looking at it. Just make an upside down Y. Okay, so now what we need to do is fold these sides. Let's go ahead and do this one. Just follow the score mark and fold it. And do the other side. Okay, and I'm going to do this as well, this side, and the other piece, and this side. Okay, now is the fun part. We will take the bottom of the purse and add the liner to the purse. So we're going to apply the glue. And if you don't even want to glue this, you really don't have to. But I like to. So, we're going to go ahead and apply this. Okay, so now we are going to take these sides of the purse and we will go ahead and fold this side down and apply glue. And then we're going to line this up and keep in mind this side goes on the outside. So we're going to line it up and then push down. And then I like to use a popsicle stick just to put a little pressure on it. Then we're going to flip it around and wipe some of the glue off. And keep in mind if you use the same glue that it dries clear. So what we're going to do is fold this down and apply the glue. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. And then do the same thing. Okay, and then I like to do the popsicle stick trick. Okay, now we will do the same thing to the sides of the purse. And keep in mind that this flap stays on top. So it's gonna lay down this way so the flap is on top. We're going to line, we're going to go ahead and push this down and then apply glue and then line this up and place this down and then the wonderful glue stick, I mean the, <laughs> the wonderful popsicle stick. Okay, then we will do the same thing, make sure that this is on top. 
fold this down. And take some of this off. Okay. And apply the glue. And make sure it's level. And then down. Okay, so that's all four sides of the purse. We will go ahead and you just make sure this one's there. Okay, so what we do is we're gonna pull this up, push this up all around, and we're going to glue these sides and attach it this way. So let me go ahead and start with this side. and attach this and we're going to go ahead and just reinforce it with the popsicle stick okay and you know what I forgot to do you guys I forgot to add the pockets so let's go ahead and do that really quick because you should always do that first because <laughs> it's easier that way my mind is a little distracted today. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and apply the glue on here. And then we're gonna put this right here. Just in the center. And then let me turn this around real quick so I can apply some of my pressure with the popsicle stick. Okay, there. So now we will go ahead and do this other side right here. And I just like to pull it up a little bit, like overlap it to get to the glue, get the glue on there. Okay, so apply the glue. Hello, go right there. Okay, then we're gonna place this under and just kind of make sure it's attached and lined up and then turn it over carefully and apply the popsicle stick. Okay. And I know that I have extra glue on there that we're going to have to take off. Okay. Now we're going to do the same thing on this side. A little bit more down there. Okay. And line it up. And go ahead and reinforce it. Okay. And then one more. Put this here. And Okay, and then turn it over and line it up. Just reinforce it. You wipe some extra glue off. Okay, so this is what we have so far. So, okay, so the next step is grabbing the buckles, and we have, remember we have eight of them because we're going to glue them together. And so no matter which way you turn it, it's um, gold. And we're gonna add some glue. And then apply the other end. Okay, and that one is done, set it aside. And we're going to do that to the rest of the three the three left. Okay. Okay, so these four are done. And then we have these four pieces that all look the same. And we're going to just fold it in half so it matches and then I'm going to glue, apply glue 
on the whole thing. And then I'm going to insert it right here and then close this. So it'll look like this. So I'm going to do the other three and I'll be right back. Okay, so all four of those are done. We are now going to grab all four of these little gold tabs. And what we want to do is apply glue on the back of the buckle. And then we're going to glue it here so that it looks, can you see that? So it's lined up like right in the center. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so it should look something like this. Doesn't have to be perfect. So it'll be lined up like this, so there's still gold on top. And then I'm going to do another one. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and apply that right there. And then I'm going to do the other two and I will be right back. Okay, so now what we're going to do is apply glue on the back and we are going to put it here on the purse. And remember, um, just one second. Okay, so if you look at um, another purse that I did, this one I did do the, I'm going to call them panels. I did the panels. So here you can um, check, you can, let's go to this one. Well, here you can see that this lines up to this stripe. So with this, we don't have that. So you just kind of have to eyeball it and um, you know what you think it should be. And so we're gonna go ahead and apply some glue. And then we're gonna put this here. And I'm just going to leave it like a little bit down because that's how the other one was. And you, whatever you do, you just wanna make sure that they match up on each side to the best that you can. And then we're going to do the other side. And just kinda of place it here. Okay, then we're gonna turn it around and do this. And then we have one left. So I'm gonna do it right here, okay. And then we're gonna set that aside to dry. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply some glue. And then we're just gonna apply it directly onto here and is in the center as much as you can. Okay. This, and push it right through here. And then I'm going to apply it some glue to close this. Let's go ahead and put a little bit here. Okay. Okay, so next I'm going to put glue on here and then attach it to the zipper right here. So this is, would be like the area where you would grab it to open it. And then I'm going to put a little pressure with the glue, with the um, popsicle stick. And then we have this little tiny piece that goes at the end of the zipper. It's the um, area that you would know to stop the zipper. So we're gonna go ahead and put this tiny little piece right here. And popsicle stick comes in handy. Okay, so this is all set. Let me set that aside. And let's go ahead, while this dries, let's do the straps. 
Now originally, I had printed these to do as a strap, but I thought this would be super cute to do it in gold. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna fold this over where we scored it. And we do the same to the other side. Okay, so this is super easy. Let me fold this over so we don't get glue on the first. Okay, what we're going to do is apply glue on both sides, both ends of the strap. Okay, then you're going to take the strap, it's facing this way, and here, let me see, you're just gonna like, see, make sure you can see, you're just pushing it down like this. So both um, parts with the glue are going in this way. And then we're gonna go ahead and fold it over let me go ahead and apply pressure here just to make sure, make sure it's lined up here. Okay. Okay, actually, I think that's perfect. Isn't that cute? Okay, so now we're gonna flip it over and we're going to do the exact same thing on this side. And you know what I could have done now that I think about it? I could have glued these. Why don't I do this on this one? I'll do it on this one. If we glue these together, then, because the gold is not double-sided um, double gold. Let's go ahead and glue this together, okay? And then apply it to this. Okay, line it up. Okay. And then we need to fold on the score marks. So I'm gonna fold it this way. Okay, then I'm gonna put glue on the ends. Okay, and then we go ahead and we hold this like this, and this will go in like this and in here. Let me do one at a time. Okay. And same with this. Go ahead and put glue on the back. And apply this to here. And it goes down a little bit. What I did is, remember we took vinyl and we um, did that. What I'm going to do is get transfer tape, apply it over here, and rub this over. Okay, then we're gonna put it on this white sheet right here. I'm not sure if you can see it, but let me and I am doing this because it's so much easier to do this than to print, and not print, to cut the gold cardstock and then try to glue it. We're gonna take this and we're going to glue it onto here. So let's go ahead, do this. And then we wanna center it inside the gold Okay, and then we're going to glue the back and put it on the purse. Make sure I get all the parts, okay. And then we'll put it right here. Okay, so this is it, you guys. What do you think? Super cute, huh? And for some reason, I don't know why, I guess my mind was elsewhere. I had this coming out this way, which it really was an easy fix. I just took the pencil, I mean not the pencil, I took the um, popsicle stick and I just kind of dented it in. I don't know why I did that backwards, but I did. But that, isn't that so cute, you guys? And it's so much easier and I think it looks just as cute. So um, leave a comment.
comment below and let me know what you guys think. I'd love to hear what you have to say. And as always, thanks for watching. And if you're uh, new to watching one of my videos and you enjoyed it, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. Bye, guys.